Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I am here today to change this bedroom into my craft room. Ooh, there's already my recording table are already in this corner here, but at the moment my craft room are in a very dark room in this house, so I decided to put this bed in the storage room and just transform this into my craft room just move everything over from the other room to here if you want to see my previous craft room tour i'll link the video below and um yeah it's just so dark and dingy in there it would be so much more fun to work here and we um because of the concrete floors it is just too cold in the winter down here in the basement and so we've decided to move upstairs to one of the upstairs bedrooms so this bed is just sitting here and just taking up a lot of space that we can use better i think and i since we are thinking that we'll be here for much longer i decided to go ahead and do that so i will show you um, as we go along what happens and moving stuff out so just i'll keep you posted so here we are day two and this is how far we got yesterday so we um took the bed down this the bed and the box springs are still sitting in this room it's a king size mattress and box spring and there's just not enough room yet in the storage area to put the this in there so this will stay in there until that storage room is empty or the room that i had before as my craft room and then what i did with these are to prevent this room from be becoming cluttered and to you know not enough room to move because i really had to think how am i going to move this there's very there's not a lot of room to move stuff there's the room where my craft room was then a narrow hallway very narrow hallway and then it walks into this room so i kind of have to th thought, think about how i'm going to move everything so what i did is in the craft room i would put all of the stuff on each shelf on the floor or in a plastic container and then um, bring this shelf in bring the plastic containers in and then put everything back on the shelf because I was pretty happy about how the shelves were working for me in the other room so that made my job w much easier uh, everything was more or less sorted not a hundred percent there's still work to be done but so that's how I did that so we've got these I have one more shelf to bring in and then in the middle here I want like a big um, desk that's raised up so I can stand and maybe cut fabrics and pack my um, kits for the shop don't know how I'm going to do that yet we'll have to figure out that then um, these containers I still have to take the labels off it's actually not just straightforward to get these labels off I don't know why they put the labels on the front there the ones that I bought at the Dollarama had the labels tucked on the inside and that's why they don't have labels here the labels were on there and just with a glue dot and I took that off but these are a pain to get off and um, what else some of the shelves I have more just like decorative I do have things in the cigar boxes and then other shelves like here are the glass jars are storage these little tins are storage um, but I also wanted to display things like this um, journal I got for my friend Cheryl both of them as a Christmas gift so I wanted to put that out there then not sure about this shelf it bothered me in the other room too these are the journals that I'm cur currently working on like writing in or art journals my Marguerite Miller it's on the desk there but it usually sits in here so I need to do something about that not sure maybe just anyway I don't know yet but other than that I'm pretty happy with the amount of books that I have here and um, 
Then another, I need one more rack in there that's in the other room. And they just fit in here perfectly. I don't know how it worked out, but it worked out. And then on this side, I still have my recording table and my setup here, which I'm happy with. That's going to go. Um, and then I'll put more of my printer and stuff in there. the end of day two and this is what we accomplished I think I'm going to um, do more things tomorrow I'm not sure these will stay here I'm still thinking about that they can always go um, in the closet but this is all finished almost the book shelves in the back I am going to remove the curtains because this curtain here is just kind of in the way here and I don't really need the curtains I'm not gonna sleep here there and I actually want the light so I think I'll be fine there's also blinds on the windows if I do need that then I moved in that that piece and that one my printer is sitting on that still need to figure all of that out and then I am going to have these two plastic tables in the middle of the room and um, try to lift them up so they're kind of counter top height so it's you can stand and do stuff I think um, that is the plan at the moment I'm not 100% sure what I need to do to fix all of this but I will continue tomorrow because it's a long weekend my husband's home and maybe he can help me with some of this but this is um, the progress for now um, I still need to do uh, I can put stuff in that big closet there so I have a lot more storage here than I did in the other room in the other room I only had this and then that oh sorry that was probably too fast but anyway this is um, I, I made some progress let's say that and I'm very happy with the fact that it's way um, sunnier way more light here it I can just I'd rather sit here and work five or six hours a day than in my little dungeon there in the storage room and I thought I will share with you how far I have gotten. It's now been three days <laughs> since I last videoed and showed you what I was doing. So in the meantime what we've done is um, built this table unit in the middle of the room and I thought before I start putting stuff in these bookcases here I am going to show you what we did. We were planning on using these shelves as kind of a base around and then add wood on top, but it was just too expensive. I had these shelves were sitting in the one of our outside garages, so I had to go to our house, pack everything up that was on these shelves, and um, to get the shelves for the base of my table. So yeah, just another thing that had to be done. But anyway, I didn't want to buy new shelves because I have shelves and I won't use these again and when I move back into my old my own house. So this was a good solution. But then when we started looking at wood and building all of this up, it was just too much. So what I decided to do was, let me just move this out of the way. We just added some risers that I found at um, my friend. She borrowed her risers for me. 
um, she has two children in or had and she was going to sell them and when I mentioned to her that we need to lift these tables up she said she has some in her storage room so just maybe ask before you start buying <laughs> so that was a good cheap solution because I didn't want to spend money on stuff I'm, I'm going to be here probably for the next six to eight months but again didn't want to spend too much this is temporary um, I probably don't need all the storage around and I probably will fill it up pretty soon <laughs> and then I would say I need more storage who knows but at the moment it just hides the ugliness of my two plastic tables but it's just the right height so I can stand here um, cut fabrics and papers and then on this side I left a spot open there is a storage bin here at the moment this, with things that needs to be sorted but I left this open I'm going to um, I have a borrow one of the chairs from the kitchen island that's um, countertop height and that will go in there so yes it is a mess I promised myself I wouldn't um, bring too many things in and create a mess but on the other hand all of these things were sitting in the storage room so I thought if I have the storage room cleaned up have the bed set up so that the mattress is not on the floor I don't think anybody will sleep there but I just didn't want that mattress to sit in the dust for the next couple of months it's not mine so what we did that and then I just like I said cleaned out the storage room with all the little things now I have everything here and I can see what needs to be sorted so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then come back and show you more but this is where I am at the moment um, my message is don't despair if it there's numerous areas in your house if you're doing something like this that looks like a mess then just keep going it will eventually all come together I hope so I still have lots of stuff to do I need to take the curtains down I haven't done that yet um, need to decide on where what goes what will work the best and even if I put it up down now I probably the moment I sit down and start working at this table I'll move things around again but this is a good base so I need to go ahead and sort all those little bins there put labels on take the ugly labels off I don't like them and then we'll go from there so we'll just keep going <laughs> so anyway thank you for watching and keep tuned we I will have more videos on progress and what happens when and how I finish things up so I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.